Sup, my nerds? Hello. <clears throat> and welcome to my March Mystery Madness TBR video. Now, I had a um, TBR set up, and then I was like, these books are way too noir um, and more crime than mysteries or the mystery just wasn't very mysterious so um i put the kibosh on those books and um got some other stuff here um now the prompt um for march mystery madness there's a bunch but like the the theme of the prompt is five because it is the fifth year so um there were a lot of things, and you're supposed to read um, five books. And I, knowing how flighty I am, will say, and I don't um, handle authority well, even if it's me being the authority figure to myself. So I figured I would give myself a bunch of things to do, and then if I just do five of those... I'll feel okay. Um, and at the end of the video, I'm going to be talking about the read-along I'm going to be doing, um, which I really hope you guys jump on board with. So um, we'll talk about that at the end here. So um, some of the prompts here are like a title with five words. I thought that would be the easiest one to find. And when I wasn't looking very hard, when the when I picked the books that were more crime based, um, it was really easy. I'm like, oh, boom, five words in the title, done. And then when I was like, you know what? Let me try to find ones that are more mystery. That was really hard, and especially since these books here are the ones that I have here, and there's some more down there too. But um. I don't have all my books with me, so I'm going through what I have, and um, I was having a really difficult time trying to find that one. So if I find one out of the books I have, um, I will um, amend this thing. But um, one that was written in the fifth year, um, like a year div divisible by five, um, that would be um, Carter Brown, um, Nude with a View. Um, I have a bunch of Carter Brown books. Um, a lot of them I haven't read yet. Um, pretty much all my Al Wheeler books, with the exception of one I've read. And if you've been following this channel for any length of time, you will know that that one Al Wheeler book... I've been saying I'm going to read all the time and then I never do it because I get nervous that it's my last Al Wheeler book that I have. And so I always put it off. So anyway, um, Nude with a View by Carter Brown. The first printing was April 1965. Okay. Um, so let me see what this says. She was a wild kid mixing with a bunch of psycho artists and muscle-bound beach boys. Her cookie cut-ups had to stop. Everyone agreed. Her movie star father, Rick Holman, and the murderer. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Wait, is that for this book too i can't tell so yeah so this is my um come on phone D don't do this to me don't not recognize my fingerprint okay nude with a view that is my fifth year book okay then we have the fifth book in a series okay and this is one of my favorite authors and probably the book of his that I've read the fewest amount of times. In fact, I think I've only read this once. But this is the number five um, 
Raymond Chandler, Philip Marlowe mystery, The Little Sister. Um, let's see. Um, her name is Orifemi Quest, and she's come all the way from Manhattan, Kansas, to find her missing brother, Orin. Or least ways that's what she tells P.I. Philip Marlowe, offering him a measly 20 bucks for the privilege. But Marlowe's feeling charitable, though it's not long before he wishes he wasn't so sweet. You see, Oren's trail leads Marlowe to luscious movie starlets, uppity gangsters, suspicious cops, and corpses with ice picks jammed in their necks. When trouble comes calling, sometimes it's best to pretend to be out. <gasps> I love these, the series that they did with these. The, the artwork is just amazing. I love it. So anyway, The Little Sister, Raymond Chandler, for my number five. I wonder if I could use this also for a book that has the number five on it. Um, maybe I can. Oh man, my phone doesn't recognize me. Um, so maybe, or I think it's five in the title. I was going to get the fifth chord. Um, and I think I said this on the last video, but like I, the only copy I could find of it was over a hundred bucks. And I'm like, March Mystery Madness is awesome, but I'm not going to spend a hundred bucks on a book that I have no idea if I'm going to like or not because I was eh, on the movie. Um, but anyway, let's see here. Um, page Count. The Passionate Pagan by Carter Brown. Um, let's see. Danny Boyd privatized the odd antics of a Chinese art society and oriental beauty with, lethal, with a lethal design for murder. Bump, bump. Um, this book has 125 pages. That is divisible by five. So that is this one. It's like, wow, 125 pages. Way to really knock it out of the park. And I'm like, hey, calm down, everybody. No need to get all snippy with me, right? Um... Let me see what else we got here. I do have a couple other Carter Brown books here that I might get to. So, Wood, because the fifth anniversary is Wood. Um, so, I have The Ice Cold Nude. Um, that's a nice wooden... Um, what do you call those things? A curio cabinet? Uh, I don't know. Attaché? What, what do rich people call fancy stuff? I... I, I I don't know. Um, alive, she wanted meek and dead. Only diamonds would do. What the what? So yeah, there's wood on the cover. So whatever. Um, and I won't make the joke that all of you guys are thinking. Um, let me see. Oh. And then I don't know why I brought this book out. This is the last Al Wheeler book I have. The septic murders that I might read. Look at how cool that couch is, man. <sighs> the 60s really... <sighs> I don't know what's going on anymore. Okay, so um, as far as May goes being the fifth month, I might get to this, I might not, but um, Dashiell Hammett's The Glass Key was originally released um, in... Was this one in Red Book or Black Mask? I don't remember, actually. I could look that up. But when it was serialized, it was released in between March and June 1930, which means that one of the um, parts were released in May of 1930. So I might be doing The Glass Key, or um, I might be doing a reread of the Maltese Falcon, which I don't have with me here, um, because it's five syllables, I think. The Maltese Falcon. Boom! Um, so there's that. So those are um, 
the books that I'm most likely going to be reading in March. But we also have the very special read-along that I really want everyone to partake in. Um, and what that is, um, hush it over there. Um, I don't know if this is a stretch or not. Mina wants in that room, and I don't want her to get in there. Um, this is what we're going to be reading. Pulp by Charles Bukowski. This is an extremely underrated book. Um, it's so much fun. If you are familiar with Bukowski's other works, um, his life, it's even more fun. But even if you're not, it's still an excellent read. And um, the he's got a lot. He plays, not he plays, but um, there's a private dick in here um, called Nick Blaine. And um, it takes a lot of pot shots at all of um, the pulpy, hard-boiled detective stuff, which is just hysterical. But, I mean, he has um, the different cases that are all going on at the same time for him. He has um, somebody who wants to find out if um, someone who should have been dead a long time ago is really dead or if they're alive. And then he has to figure out um, the identity of the person who's even hired him on that case. Plus, there's another guy who wants him to get this space alien off his trail. Um, then there's um, another guy who thinks his wife's cheating on him and he wants him to catch her in the act. And then there's um, like the biggest case is um, him trying to find the Red Sparrow. Um, it's just, it's so much fun. And this was the last novel he wrote before he died. Um, and there's a lot of, um, it's just, it's really good. So if anyone wants to read this with me and Zoe, Zoe's going to be reading this too. Um, I have a Discord um, I'm going to be setting up. I was going to do it on Voxer. But honestly, Voxer has been acting so screwy um, that I, I'm just, I'm pretty much over Voxer at this point. But um, if you have Discord, or you could just download the app, or um, do it on your computer, um, we will be doing stuff on that. So let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in reading Pulp with us. Even if you've read it before, it'll be a fun... Um, get together and we'll talk about all sorts of stuff with this so with that said um that's about it so if you're doing march mystery madness um let me know down below what books you're reading um also um i'm gonna put in the description um all the other hosts that are doing stuff and if you're not a part of the goodreads group um for March Mystery Madness, definitely get in there because it has what everyone's doing all the time. Um, it's a really cool um, group on there. So anyway, um, let me know down below. Let me know if you're going to read any of these. And please let me know if you want to do the pulp read along with me and Zoe. So um, until next time, everybody.